if you're just assuming that others know how you want things done, even if they're the same trade as you, that's not always going to be the case. Dwayne, a lot of builders who build their business and start getting teams obviously are going to end up having chippies or carpenters working as part of their teams on site. When you've come from a carpentry background and become a builder, you can find that you've got particular ways that you like things being done and ways that you know work over a period of time. And then trying to convey that to your team can be a really big sticking point for a lot of builders. How do you suggest builders get their carpenters doing things the way that they want them done on site? Um, it's, it's about not assuming. Like so much of what we do on site, because we, like for me anyway, coming from a carpentry background and then growing into a builder, like I just always assumed that they would expect, like, or yeah, I expected that they would know what, like I'm rocking up, I'm there for half an hour, I'm having some meetings with people, I'm putting some notes on a right ward, I'm, I'm talking as I'm walking and then I'd disappear and leave site and, and I'd expect that they'd taken it all in and then wonder, then like I used to get frustrated because I'd come back the next day or whenever and things hadn't been done right or not the way that I wanted and yeah, it, it can get quite frustrating, but um, I was ultimately, I was causing the problem. Yeah, and I think that's, I mean, whenever you're working with any kind of team, the whole issue around assumptions can be such a catching point for problems. I actually had a colleague that uh, very early in my architectural career said to me, Amelia, you need to remember that assumptions are the mother of all F-ups. Mm -hmm. And it's something to really take to heart because what happens is that if you're just assuming that others know how you want things done, even if they're the same trade as you, mm -hmm. that's not always going to be the case. And so spending the time of actually thinking how you're going to work with them so that they know what you want done and the way you want things done becomes so important. Yeah, and I think we, um, like we take for granted that like, whatever type of bill you are, like for me, we do the pack process. Like I've literally been staring at the plans, been involved in all these meetings. Like I've, I've built the house 50 times in my head before my team start on site or before they even get the information. So um, I, I've got to understand that there's bound to be mistakes and things that people are not on the same page if, if I've had all this time to review it. And even if you're a builder that um, is possibly still on the tools a bit and, and works closely with your team, Again, but if you're sitting in the office, you're doing takeoffs, you're getting things ordered and delivered to site, and this stuff's turning up and your team's there and they're like, then you're, you're saying, oh, well, that should have been cut and that goes over there and like things are going wrong and the material shortages and they're putting things in the wrong place. What do you expect? Like it blows my mind now when I think about how frustrated I used to get and how um, there was a lot of confrontation on site. And I think, well, why wasn't like it had to happen it was my own fault like i so now we have a process where we we give people information well before they turn up to site and it's it's made a such a big difference i think that's the, the thing too is that if you're constantly butting your head against the fact that you're assuming that they should just know how you want things done they're getting frustrated because you're constantly annoyed with them at not doing things a certain way and the amount of animosity that builds between you and your team members that just they think that you can never be pleased, that you're never happy with yeah. them. You're never happy with anything that they do. And so they turn up to work every day knowing that they're going to not do things the right way because you as the business owner and the builder in charge have not taken the time to yeah. actually explain to them how you want things done. You're setting people up to fail. You're yeah. setting people up to not be able to uh, learn and grow and work with you in those situations. And you're setting it, you're also setting yourself up to get in that mindset of I may as well do everything myself, like everything, like what, what's wrong with these people? Like you're setting yourself up to fail as well. So uh, look, we've developed a lot of systems and processes which are now available uh, in our Live Life Build program, um, Elevate, but it's all about giving people time. And so part of our system now, like not just with our own employees, but all of our contractors as well, is having, um, whether it be Google Drive for the contractors, we use Slack for our own team, but giving them access to the documents very early on. Um, and they've all, they've all taken to it, like giving them time to, um, whether it's after work or at home or on weekends, whenever, 
like get their head around the job so that the first day on the job, everyone can hit the ground running. And um, probably the biggest thing that's come out of it for us is it's actually um, started creating a lot more open talk about things. So um, quite often our team will uh, review details or we'll be having a look at the squiz or having a squiz on the plans on a Sunday afternoon. And um, when we have a, a site meeting or a catch up on the Monday morning, like they're prepared, like they know what questions to ask. And it's completely changed our business and it's taken away all my frustration. Um, we can now work through things together. Um, but also I did have a, I've had a lot of conversations with my team about the fact that I've built the house 50 times. So it takes the pressure off them because I've said to them, look, I get it. Like you've had the plans for whatever, two weeks, four weeks, six weeks. I've been working on this job for 18 months. Like I literally know it inside out. So don't feel bad if you don't understand something or don't know something like don't like come to me if you've got questions. And again, it's just all about opening up those clear communication lines, giving people permission to ask, uh, making people feel comfortable that they can ask. And yeah, putting systems and processes in place to set the business up for success.